Good day, everybody. I am Shmi, and I'm back to talk to you all about my League Starter Chieftain. I finished the campaign last night and did some maps, but haven't gotten too deep into it yet. After finishing this video today, I'm going to get back to mapping, and I'm so close to getting Wandering Path. I'll have a video with the results of my 7th Gate experiment, as well as a full build guide for this Righteous Fire Chieftain. And what I'm going to talk about today has even given me an idea for an entirely new League Starter build, so I'll be trying that out at some point as well. If you want all of this content as soon as it drops, please hit that subscribe button. You're helping me grow the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Today I want to talk about the Ascendancy Hinakora Death's Fury. When GGG revealed the Chieftain rework, everyone immediately judged Hinakora. I watched all my favorite PoE streamers and build makers cast it aside and claim it was terrible. They were all very wrong. The beauty of Hinakora Death's Fury is how it complements often chaotic fire builds. Builds that rely on spells like Righteous Flyer or Flame Wall, or even attacks like Molten Strike struggle with finishing packs of monsters. Sure, the initial damage is great, but when you have three monsters left from a pack heading in three different directions, the cleanup time will slow you down significantly. Hinakora adds an explosive finisher to your area fire damage. You no longer have to chase down random monsters, but instead just herd them into groups and let Hinakora finish the job. Your wonderful AoE damage will take down smaller monsters in the pack, and Hinakora will do the rest. Hinakora shines even brighter in situations that most players fear. Maps that are filled with tight corners, doors, and hallways can present a big challenge to a lot of different builds, but with Hinakora by your side, you have absolutely no problem whatsoever. Every minion from a rare monster becomes a self-inflicted liability, and any boss stupid enough to trap themselves in a room with a large pack of mobs deserves to face the wrath of Hinakora. That 5% activation chance seems small, but it's more than enough. The massive raw damage output from Hinakora Death's Fury means that it must be considered for any build that needs an area finisher or a nice batch of spike damage against hard targets. I'm going to end this video with a full map clear I just finished on my Hinakora Righteous Fire Chieftain. You don't have to take my word for it. Please watch and judge for yourselves. While you do, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. I've been getting tons of likes and new subscribers, and I want you all to know I appreciate every single one of you. Each one not only tells the algorithms to help spread the videos, but more importantly, it personally motivates me to create more guides for Path of Exile and for Ruthless Mode. Thank you again for the support, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care, Exiles.
Godslaget.